Christ was just as human as anybody else. Why did he cry out, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? when he was on the cross? Because he was insecure about everything he had believed in up till then. He was as human as we are. It's up to human beings to be the messiahs. We're the only ones who are there to do it. And we have to do it. We have to do it. Because if we don't do it, somebody with an equal belief and passion to ours, who believes that the way to achieve this is through the old animal way, the old animal way built into our limbic system, built into the lower parts of our brain, somebody who knows that the best way to unite people is by uniting them in hatred, against an outside group, and uniting them in mass murder. We have to come along before that person comes along. We have to fill that void, and we have to fill it with positivity. It's about digging into the elemental passions. The mandate of paleopsychology is to trace the evolution of thought, of mentation, and emotion from the first 10 to the minus 30 seconds of the Big Bang on up to the sun. the evolution. Trace the evolution. From the first 10 to the minus 30 seconds of the Big Bang. the evolution. humanity tremendous, absolutely tremendously, but that excises deliberately the God of War. If you find the gods inside yourself, you'll find the God of War. You'll find the God of bloodiness. You'll find the God of genocide. And he will be one of those powerful passions in you. You have to fight him out of existence and make your positive gods the gods that take you over. And by the gods that take you over, you have to find those passions that are so much more powerful than you than anything you've been allowed to express in your life, making those things, things you work on. In other words, not putting off until you're 40 or 50, the things you feel passionate about at the age of 15 and 16, but going directly to those things and trying to live with them when you're 20. That's go. Forget the $200.
embrace the evolution. the evolution.